You thought the Black Album by Metallica is where things started to get interesting. Here is where things get really interesting. Hey guys, Richard Metal Fan here. We're still continuing the Metallica discography, and today we're going to be looking into the album that basically kind of divided Metallica's fan base a little bit, and also alienated the, their fan base as well. And this album is 20 years old this year, and as you can see below the title, we're going to be looking into Load by Metallica. Metallica, sixth album overall, released on June 4th, 1996, and coming off the success known as the Black Album, hitting number one on the Billboard charts, Metallica spent a, the last couple, few couple years after the album was released, the album was released, touring in support of it. It was around 1995 or so. Metallica started writing a lot of songs for what would become Load, and around that time they wrote like 27 songs, and then. Like, they could, it could have been, like, a double album. Like, the, the, this and Reload, like, was all written at the same time. But Metallica decided that, you know, let's not make it a double album. Let's just put out one album and, and then another album for that. So they basically split it up into two rather than just having it, like, two and one. And a lot of bands would consider it a double album, but, but the band themselves don't even consider it. I'm going to have to say it kind of is since it has, like, Load and then the next album is Reload. <laughs> um... And with this album, Metallica decided to do things a little bit differently. If you thought the Black Album was where they decided to change things up, this is where they basically took it a step further. And if you're expecting like a Black Album Part 2, you're dead wrong. They basically stripped everything down and decided to ditch like the thrash metal, heavy metal with a more of a bluesy country hard rock-esque album. And that's where it alienated their fan base and a lot of fans are like what the fuck is this shit this isn't metallica and what really also pissed them off is like the band members cut their hair and and they accused like the fans accused metallica of being sellouts for doing that and i just think that's the stupidest thing i've ever heard like you should just listen to the, them for the music not for the length of their fucking hair and i just think it's funny how metal fans say they don't care about how how they look, yet with someone with long hair chops it off, there's always a shit storm that follows. <laughs> and, um, and then the album cover is basically the blood with the artists like jizz mixed together. And I don't even know, it just kind of looks really just laughable, honestly. I don't even know. And the music itself, like, uh, it's pretty div divisive. Like, a lot of people would like this album and defend it to death. Other people are like, nah, I don't know, it's okay. And other people are like, fuck this, this is terrible. For me, I'm sort of like half half and half. I think this album is solid. I just wish it could have been better. Like, I wish the songs could have been better. Um, the song structure, everything. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm blanking out, sorry. I just wish, think this album had a lot of potential. I mean, this album actually went number one. Same thing with... Same thing with the Black Album, it went number one. But a lot of fans are like, it has like mixed opinions about it. But yeah, without further ado, let's just dive into this track by track. Now the album opens up with Ain't My Bitch, which is just a very average rocker with some with a little bit of a boogie rock vibe to it. But the riffing in that song is kind of generic. Has, I don't know, I mean, it's an okay opener. Um, Two by four, slightly better with some decent heavy grooves in there. And it has a very catchy chorus yes, I mean but the lyrics kind of sound just kind of dumb honestly I ain't gonna hit you with my two by four yeah Ugh, it just sounds stupid um the house that Jack built which is surprisingly better better song it has a very good momentous chorus and until this sleeps it kind of sees the band kind of regaining their edge a little bit and this song kind of reminds me a little bit of Unforgiven and I kind of like the lead groove in there and uh, King Nothing has some better riffs in there with a really good bass intro from Jason. And But the lyrics kind of are a little bit cliche. And I don't know, it's just me. Hero of the Day, which is kind of like one of the better songs on this album. And I actually enjoyed this song a lot more than pretty much well, the most of this album, I have to say. Hey, it's a very diverse song. It has some heavier section in there. And it has a good double bass section from Lars. I mean, one of his couple only solid standouts on this album um bleeding me which kind of reminds me of a little bit of elements from injustice for all 
well, it has throughout. It has a really good punchy guitar, but I feel like the song is kind of drags out way too long. Um, Cure, it's just a bluey's tinge song, which is meh. Uh, Poor Twisted Me has some solid drumming in there. It's a good song, but it kind of lacks a little bit of change and diversity, um, which is kind of like one of the problems with this album. Uh, Wasting My Hate, which is kind of starts a very subtle intro, and it has some very heavy verses and just some simplistic drumming in there. Um, Mama Said, which is a very acoustic-driven song, which kind of has a bit of a country vibe to it, and I'm just kind of meh. And then we get to The Thorn Within and Ronnie, which are basically filler songs in there. I just, I don't really care for those songs at all. And then the album closes with The Outlaw Torn, which is the longest song on there. It's not even the whole song. I mean, this album is pretty much Metallica's longest album, running for 78 minutes and 59 seconds. And th with The Outlaw Torn, they had to like cut out a minute. They sort of fades away at the end of the song. Um, because if they left it like that, it would skip over. But if one, one of the singles on this album actually has that all torn unedited in its entirety about 10 minutes long the unedited version now overall load by metallica basically is has some mixed reviews and a lot of mixed opinions of this album honestly if i were to give this album a score i'd probably give this like probably a 7 or a 7.5 out of 10 it's not the greatest it's not the worst it's eh, okay it's decent and that's just me so yeah, let me know what you guys think of the lo Load album, guys. I'll see you on the next review. Thank you guys for watching, and keep it metal.